When calculating probabilities, there are two questions that we ask ourselves. One, are the events mutually exclusive? And two, are the events independent? So first, mutually exclusive. What that means is that no two events can occur simultaneously. For example, if I draw somebody at random from the college population, and I ask myself, what is the probability that that individual is going to be both a freshman and a sophomore? Well, no individual can be both a freshman and a sophomore, so those two events are mutually exclusive. And we notate it like this. P of S and, represented by an upside down U, or the intersection, freshman equals zero. But let's say that the two events are not mutually exclusive, so that the occurrence of one event does not necessarily preclude the occurrence of another event. Well, let's say that I'm interested in drawing somebody from the population who is both a sophomore and who likes grape soda. So let's write down some probabilities here. The probability of being a sophomore, let's say, is 0.25. And the probability of randomly drawing somebody from the population who likes grape soda is 0.7. To calculate this probability, I simply take the product of these two probabilities, because we assume that they're mutually exclusive. This is P of S times P of G equals 0.25 times 0.70, which equals 0.775. Sorry, 0.175. Another question we can ask ourselves is, are the two events independent? What that means is, does the occurrence of one event have any correlation with another event occurring? If it doesn't, then we assume that those two events are independent. And once we've answered that, we can then calculate the occurrence of either one event or another event occurring. So, let's say we want to know if I draw somebody from the population at random, what is the probability that they will either be a sophomore or like grape soda? We represent this as P of S this U representing the union, G, grape soda. And the formula for that is the sum of these two probabilities independently, and we subtract the intersection of the two. So this is going to be P of S plus P of G minus their intersection. which we calculated in the previous step. So once we have those, we can just substitute those numbers into this formula to obtain this probability right here. 0 0.25 plus 0 0.7, and then we subtract 0 0.175, which equals 0 0.775. 